हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दिस कोर्स एंड हियर आई एल गिव यू ओवर व्यू अबाउट नेक्सर स्विचेस सो फ्रेंड्स दीज स्विचेज वर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय सिस्को इन 2008. दे वॉन्टेड टू मीट द ग्रोइंग नीड ऑफ नेटवर्क एक्सपेंशन बिकॉज कस्टमर्स वर लुकिंग फॉर स्विचेज विच कुड प्रोवाइड हाई पोर्ट डेंसिटी जीरो लेटेंसी high performance high availability scalability and business continuity so basically they wanted to meet the requirements of business critical applications there are many customers which deal with these kind of applications like your banks financial institutions share markets and there were some customers which deal with huge flow of data like gmail google facebook instagram they wanted a switch which could meet these requirements so cisco introduced these switches so these basically contain comprehensive features so high performance means when network is passing through a switch there should not be much processing delay there will be but it should be in microseconds and uh, so it should have high port density like it should have 40g ports 100g ports all right scalability means if your network has expanded so the switches should be able to handle the load expansion does occur it may be due to applications users have moved in or uh, suddenly the load has increased due to change in business plan whatever so your switch should be uh, capable of scalability operational or business continuity means if there is an outage be it at uh, switch level or supervisor level or power module level there should not be the impact to the traffic or the environment the purpose is that uh, cisco wanted to achieve zero downtime so there are eight categories of these uh, hardwares latest one is 9000 which is known as aci application centric infrastructure which is basically sdn approach of cisco 7000 series uh, 6000 5 4 3 2 and 1 1000v is not a hardware it's a software used for virtualized environments i will cover 9000 7000 5000 and 2000 for 9000 i already have one section in this course you can refer that and get the information I'll start with the seven thousand, which is a modular. Okay, and then in the next couple of lectures, you will see introduction about five K, which is non-modular. Then two K, which is uh, just like a module. It is a switch, but it will be used as a module because it doesn't have its own brains. CPU is not there. So this was the introduction about the next switches. Now I'll take you to a slide wherein I'll talk about seven thousand. I told you this is a modular platform. So modular means there would be modules which you can attach or detach. So there are basically two sub categories of seven thousand. First one is seven thousand itself, and second one is seventy seven hundred. Architecture wise, design wise, there is no difference. It is just that seventy seven hundred is more advanced in terms of uh, port density, high throughput in terms of uh, complete chassis. high traffic handling capacity of each module means throughput at line card is much higher than the predecessors and uh, chassis level throughput is also very high i will talk about it and point to remember here is that the line cards or modules which are designed for 7000 cannot be used on 7700 and vice versa because cisco has uh, specifically created line cards for 7700s uh, fabric modules for 7700 so those cannot be interchanged or used at 7000 so that is the reason i mentioned here these two are uh, different hardware platforms so remember that the components of 7000 series cannot be used in 7700 and vice versa so design wise there is no uh, there is no much difference architecture is same the cli is same once cisco launches the annex os version for 7000 they will also launch it for 7700 at the same time the feature wise same it is just that it is uh, more capable of handling large amount of data provides high performance to the 
network environment so there are four main components in this uh, 7000 series which includes 7700 first one is chassis second one is uh, input output modules or payload modules supervisor engines that is your cpu the brains and the fabric modules i'll cover all of these four now chassis is just like your house it will contain all of your supervisor modules input output modules fabric modules power supplies fan trays fan modules it will also provide cooling mechanism to the complete infrastructure which is inside this chassis so it is just like your own home everybody is sitting inside the home so input output modules means the modules which are used for connecting the servers or other switches be it at uh, core layer or at aggregation level so it is for data plane forwarding so there are two categories of these m and f series supervisor engine is just like brain of the switch which will basically handle your management and control plane traffic that is the traffic of layer 2 layer 3 layer 2 means the traffic of uh, spanning tree protocol management traffic means uh, telnet ssh snmp traffic layer 3 traffic means uh, routing protocol traffic if you are using eir gip osp of the neighborship messages the hello packets lss all will be done by cpu and if you are using lscp which is a layer 2 feature that traffic of lscp will also be handled by supervisor engine so it's basically brain it takes care of the tables as well routing table mac address table access list and your qos classifications that is handled by supervisor engine and fabric module is just like connector once you insert your uh, modules like m series f series or uh, if you insert your supervisor modules in the chassis you have to insert one module from back plane so that these are connected okay, so it provides back plane interconnection because the traffic of one module will reach second module only when there is a connection in uh, in between the modules so one fabric module will be connected to all modules if your uh, modules are placed horizontally in a chassis means if the design is just like that uh, your modules are horizontal then this fabric module will be vertical so 7000 series have four chassis 7004 9 10 18 means four modules 1 2 3 4 9 means 9 10 means 10 10 modules 7010 means 10 modules so you you can see that in this chassis uh, the difference is that the placement of line cards will be vertical and the positions of these uh, supervisor engines is also reserved you cannot simply insert the supervisor module into any in place of any other module every chassis has redundancy available for supervisors so two modules are reserved for supervisors so when i say 7004 series chassis that would mean two are reserved for supervisor and two for data plane forwarding and 7009 it will have two reserved for supervisor and seven for payload input output mrf series similarly 10 and 18 7009 was introduced as a switch for easy migration from 6509e Okay, because many enterprise customers were using 6509 E uh, switch chassis, so they wanted to migrate. So this was a very fit chassis for them. And these are four chassis for 7700. Smallest one is 7702. So in this chassis, only one soup module will be used. You cannot use both. Of course, you can't use uh, the complete switch for control plane management. one will be for data plane and one will be for control plane so this is the only switch which doesn't provide redundancy at supervisor level and similarly 7706 771810 so these have high density ports and number of ports and port density will depend upon the module so we'll refer the module as well now this is the broad comparison between 7000 and 7700 So on the left side you can see that I mentioned models available. I've shown you four models of seven thousand, which are seven zero zero four nine ten eighteen, and similarly four models for seventy seven hundred. That is seven seven zero two till eighteen. Supervisor read the Nancy 
all of the models are capable of uh, supervisor level high availability and in this i have told you only one model of 7700 that is 7702 doesn't have it because uh, it has only two modules both cannot be used for supervisors the supervisor module types there are four kind of uh, modules available these days for 7000 first one is sup1 which is very old then sup2 and sup uh, sup2e 7700 is separately uh, described by cisco because most of the old modules are not fit to work in this so they have like in this case sup1 doesn't support 7700 sup2 doesn't support 7700 as well so one module of uh, 7000 can't be used on other and vice versa same is the case for other modules so now let's talk about total slots i've told you how these are calculated the last number 7004 means four modules 9 means 9 and this is how it works input output modules which are used for data plane forwarding for connecting servers and uh, switches at a core layer and aggregation layer so you can reduce the number of supervisor modules from the total rest will be input output uh, very easy to calculate maximum bandwidth per slot means how much traffic one module can handle per slot the best module can handle 550 gbps so there are some modules which are not capable of that this much 550 i have just mentioned the highest or the maximum bandwidth available for this chassis there is one module which is capable of handling 550 gbps traffic full duplex okay and but 7700 it is still 2.8 terabits per second it is very high that is why these are high performance devices maximum switching capacity means the total so if you have 7010 series you have eight modules and two supervisor engine so total capacity total switching capacity is 17.6 tbps for this this 7018 and for 7700 it is 90 see this almost uh, 4.5 times jump so input output modules are of two types m series and f series m series were initially launched as a uh, high feature set modules and f series were purely for you know providing uh, zero latency high throughput so f1 f2 f2e f3 these are the modules which are supported and uh, m series m1 m2 m3 and 7000 and similarly you can check it for 7700 you can see m1 m2 don't have support for it fabric module fab1 fab2 so fab modules are interconnections just like you connect two electric points you know you need to have one interconnection so this module provides that fab1 provides 46 gbps of throughput to every module fab2 provides 110 gbps and fab uh, fab3 i think uh, it provides some 400 gbps so it's really costly and very advanced but in all of my lectures i have used uh, very basic uh, modules because uh, i just wanted to show you how these things work the rack dentals are already very costly so i can't afford to have a latest hardware because that will become beyond my reach so five fab modules can be used in 7000 series chassis to achieve best performance or best throughput but here six modules can be used so how do you calculate the total switching capacity let's take one example for 7718 so it has 18 total module so input output modules are 16 so you know for this chassis the per module capability is 2.8 tbps i mentioned here 2.8 tbps it also belongs to 7718 so each module is capable of that much so multiply 2.8 with 16 and then multiply it by it by 2 for full duplex operation you will you will reach 89.6 roughly equal to 90 tbps that is why this 90 tbps is mentioned here this is a comparison of uh, 7000 series chassis four modules uh, four models of 7000 are available and four for 7700 which i'll cover in next slide 
द सेम थिंग सुपरवाइज द लेवल रीड टेंडेंसी ऑल हैबिट इनपुट आउटपुट मॉड्यूल यू हैव कम टू नो हाउ दीज आर कैलकुलेटेड बैंडविथ पर स्लॉट फोर फोर्टी जी बी पी एस दिस चैसी इज कैपेबल पर मॉड्यूल ओके दिस इज पर मॉड्यूल स्विचिंग कैपेसिटी वन पॉइंट नाइन टू फॉर दिस नंबर ऑफ वन जी ई पोर्ट्स दीज पोर्ट्स डिपेंड अपॉन दी मॉड्यूल्स द टाइप ऑफ मॉड्यूल यू यूज सो इफ यू हैव अ मॉड्यूल विच हैज कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ वन जी ई पोर्ट फोर्टी एट पोर्ट लेट्स एज्यूम सो इन सेवन थाउजेंड फोर चैसी If you use both of those modules, then total number of one G E port will be ninety six. Similarly, for ten G port, means this chassis can maximum support ninety six ports. Okay, and if you have one module which is capable of hundred G E port, and that module is there, I will show that to you once I take you to next uh, uh, chapter. So that module. Has six GE ports, so for seven thousand four there would be a support for twelve hundred uh, GE port. Similarly, for seven zero one zero forty eight, this is the capability of each chassis. Rack unit means the height. One RU means one point seven five inches. So uh, you can multiply seven with one point seven five to the uh, to reach the height. so this is really big in size 7018 air flow side to rear side to side front to back side to side and this is for 7700 chassis you will see that everything is high here these are really high performance uh, devices you can read if you want to know more about these but notice here is that the air flow is front to back in all of these devices And see the switching capacity seven seven one eight has ninety, and seven seven zero two doesn't have supervisor level redundancy. I mentioned it as yes, it should be no. Okay, just uh, I'll crack this PPT once I upload. So what is the supervisor engine? And this is the brain of the switch that controls the layer two and layer three services. So there are some protocols. Like in layer two, STP, LSP, the traffic will be handled by supervisor engine. For layer three means your routing protocol traffic and uh, read tenancy capabilities, configuration management. Your configuration will be stored here. Status monitoring, power management, environmental management, and many more things. So your routing table will be handled by it. I mentioned here management functions like telnet, SSH, SNMP, netconf, control plane functions like routing protocol, STP, LSP. So you can also use. Uh, there is a feature to debug the capabilities. You can use Ethereal, which is inbuilt, to capture the traffic which is handled by the CPU. In fact, every line card has its own CPU. Okay, that I'll talk about later. but this is uh, basically to handle the complete chassis this thing i've covered this provides a built in packet capture and protocol decoding tool that allows analysis of uh, control plane traffic to improve planning faster operation response times and reduce operating cost it is just for debugging if there is an issue so this is the uh, difference between uh, different supervisor modules that we have okay you can See that two R for seventy seven hundred and three R for seven thousand. I have prepared this uh, slide for you, just for your information. VDC means virtual device context, a virtual way of creating switches. So this sub one is capable of uh, handling having four VDCs, and all additional supervisor modules are having one admin vdc admin vdc will only be for administrator uh, administration fax means a fabric extender how many faxes can you connect or how many faxes can be handled by supervisor module in a chassis weight i mentioned dimensions i have mentioned and these are the photographs of uh, 7700 sup 2e and sup 3e actually notice that these are half slot modules one will be connected on left side and other one 
will be connected on right side these are not complete modules and these are for 7000 sup1 sup2 sup2 e both sup2 and 2 e look same because 2 e just uh, an extended version of uh, sup2 you can attach and detach so friends uh, i've tried to give you overview of these switches so you can uh, go through the information which is mentioned in this uh, presentation i will upload this uh, presentation file in pdf format and it will be really helpful to you and uh, next uh, lecture i will cover m series and f series modules of 7000 after that i'll cover 5000 series and 2000 series and i also have a lecture on this naming convention of uh, modules payload modules so do give me appropriate rating and feedback thank you so much